I'm trying to prevent Atlas from becoming another beacon, another haven. Yet you don't trust your own council to help you? Operating in secret? These are the actions of somebody who's hiding something. Damn, got him! I'm not hiding anything. Oh, you lying. That's why. Let's settle it here and now. That's why. What's up, Nasty Cast? It's your man behind the cam director here with another Ruby Reaction, Volume 7, Chapter 9, as above, as below. In the last chapter, we finally got to meet Nice Weiss's mother, Willow, and we see that she's taking up the mantle of Drunkle Crow, or I guess we're calling her Wine Willow, or Rum Willow, I haven't decided yet, but she's, she's in pain. She's in a lot of pain. She loves her family and had to watch it get destroyed by this man, Jacques. Just dismantled, torn apart. Pushed Winter away, pushed Weiss away, took Whitley under his wing. Willow truly is operating from a place of she has nothing and a place of fear of that she may be next, that he does not have her best intentions at heart. And we know it. Just one look at Jacques, the way he walks, his pompous speech and attitude, his willingness to do anything to win, it's disgusting. And frankly, one of the reasons why he's probably, he's a really good villain right now. Antagonist villain, I'm gonna call him a villain. Straight up, I'm calling him a villain. He, he, he hurts his family. That's a bad guy. That's a bad guy in my book. You hurt your family, you're a bad guy. Uh, we got to see a little bit of the console meeting go down where, um. We see Robin is in is allowed in the meeting. Don't still don't quite know why she's allowed in, but I'm suspecting that Jacques is plotting something by allowing her to be there, even though she didn't win. Don't know what he's plotting. Maybe it's a complete coup. He's gonna kick. He's gonna he's gonna try to kick Ironwood off the console and bring her on. Not quite sure. I'm waiting to see how that plays out. We can see in the council in the council meeting, he had control in there. He knew what to say to get a reaction out of Winter. And the moment he got the reaction, he knew this was his time. He laid it on extra thick. And you can see the council people buying into it. On the other side, uh, Weiss actually got some information. She went to hack into daddy's computer, but daddy put new safeguards. But mom is thinking ahead and has cameras. So we see that she knows that Arthur has met with her daddy. Willow knows that Jacques is dabbling in some evil, evil, bad, bad things. She doesn't know exactly what, but you can sense the tension in the household. They even fired Klein, bro. F I hope they fired Klein. Honestly, the more I think about it, I hope he's just fired and not down in a ditch somewhere where nobody will ever find his body. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, with that being said, the developments are going to continue, and I want to know where it's going to go. This council meeting is not going to end well. We know this. I know this. You know this. This council meeting, something sinister is brewing. I don't, My only hope is that Weiss can get the information back to Team Ruby and Jorn so they can figure out what Arthur and Tyrion are up to before everything just, for lack of a better term, goes to shit. I know, it seems like it can't get worse. Oh, it can get worse. We all know this. Uh, with that being said, if you made it this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications because we post content daily and you don't want to miss out. If you want to catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description for the Twitch link and, of course, the Patreon link where you can find uncut, unreleased anime and Ruby reactions. Ruby, Vime 7, Chapter 9 reaction coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Keep dreaming about a better world. Mm -hmm. Look at this song, so good. Whitley.
Look at her go. going on is the heat off in atlas too they wouldn't just turn the heat off would they <laughs> general since yes the yes they would the headmaster there have been atlesians who are skeptical of one man holding two council seats yes which is exactly why we have checks and balances. We are supposed to, but lately you've been running roughshod all over them, making unilateral decisions without us. Councilman, I never intend. What people intend and what they do aren't always the same, General. Hmm? Uh, for how long? My authorization? Check it again. Oh. Um, <clears throat> yes, I uh, agree with everything. Everything that was uh, just said. No, uh, no further questions. Oh. I'm not quite done yet. You're uh -oh. something, General. Aren't you? I think that's pretty obvious, Miss Hill. I'm trying to prevent Atlas from becoming another beacon. Another haven. Yet you don't trust your own council to help you? Operating in secret? These are the actions of somebody who's hiding something. Damn, got him! I'm not hiding anything. Oh, you lying. <laughs> That's why. Let's settle it here and now. That's why. Shit. I knew those are reasons she brought. He brought her. I knew it. Here and now. Wait! Huh? You've got the wrong man on trial. I know who's been framing Ironwood. Who rigged the election. And my father does too. Got him! I've been working with him. Yes, wise. Mm. Years ago. What? what is this? What? What is this? <laughs> that bastard is costing me more money every day. <laughs> ah! Four K, bitch. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sit the fuck down. What's in it for me? Oh, wise. All I need is your login credentials to the Atlas network. You promised to make Ironwood's life a waking nightmare. And I will guarantee <laughs> digital push, if you will. I always knew you were a good scientist, Arthur. But I never knew you were such a good salesman. Oh! <laughs> I'm so excited! That is, I, I can explain that. <clears throat> that isn't. <laughs> you know what? You know what, bro? I give him credit for trying. Oh, he tried to run. Jacques Schnee, you're under arrest. Oh, she arrested her stepdaddy! <laughs> I don't give a fuck if we can do it or not. We taking his ass to the pen. Arthur, you've been exposed, but you don't know it yet, fam. This guy, these two guys, they about to start something, bro. <clears throat> I knew you'd stoop low to get what you wanted, Jacques. But this. This is all a great leap, James. Look at him. It's quite simple, really. Now that I know Arthur Watts is alive, working with a madman like Tyrion Kalos, it would be easy for someone like him to coordinate an unthinkably heinous act like the one in that warehouse. 
Watts designed Mantle's entire security network. He used yep. that access to hack the surveillance system. Yep. Frame someone else for the job. Yup. Poor Penny. Look at that face. All while stealing an election. And once you became a councilman, your newly granted clearance gave him a backdoor into Atlas's secure network. But you probably hadn't even considered that, had you? The people that died that night, their blood is on I didn't even head. realize how Dark bad that was, bro. Not only for treason, but as an accessory to murder. Hell yeah! Outrageous accusations. I only intended to win the election. I had nothing to do. Only? What else will he be able to do with the Axis Jock's given him? Yo. Time. Whatever he wants. Anything and everything. Oh. Woo, there it is. What do you mean the heat has gone off? You have to believe me. I, I didn't know he was planning this. Yeah. You are going to shut your mouth and get the heating grid up and running again. I... I've been informed that we can't get into the system. Because he changed the password. Without heat down there. Rule number one of IT. Physical security. Lock your computer. Hide your password. Pay your IT man. Or woman. Person. We can follow that activity on the network. If he's found his way into the Amity system. No, the secret is safe for now. But if he learns about Amity, she learns about Amity. Oh no, you, you said too, too much. much. He's already starting to lock us out. Can we trace him somehow? No. Nope. Find out where he's hiding? He's going to be mobile. We need his access point. We need to get him out in the open. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yep, still here, everyone. How Hi, Robin. How scientist and disappeared serial killer find each other, General? Why would they target you? And why are you working so hard to hide the Amity Communications Tower from them? Shut up! No. Woo! Woo! It's about to be problems! Don't start shooting. Oh. No heat. Grim. Stolen election. Yeah, Atlas is fucked. You might as well just tell them. Honestly, at this point, as bad as everything's going right now, with all the negative emotion, yo, you might as well just be like, by the way, Salem's out here trying to destroy us. GG's. Good luck. Yeah, look at this. At this point, I don't think the communication tower even matters. Look how bad it is. It can get worse with Grim. Like, don't get twisted. I believe it can get worse. I understand that it can get worse. But I can tell there's something much bigger going on here. Now I think it's to protect something else. Us. Atlas, maybe even all of Remnant. Oh. I'm afraid of what might happen if you tell the truth. Yes. General, the Grim are all over Mantle. The Air Fleet's doing everything they can, but they can't easily target Grim in the city without risking casualties. This. This is what I was afraid would happen. <laughs> we need ground support now. What we need is to start evacuating Mantle. If it's completely overrun, it's not going to be safe anywhere. Use the fleet. If to I get... move the fleet, then Atlas is vulnerable. Move I... the fleet! I tried to keep the kingdom safe. And now we're losing everything. 50 50, fam. 50 50. Earlier, you asked for my advice. I wanted Ozpin's advice. And his advice probably would have been to keep your secrets. When we first got here, you already knew that wasn't the right course. You had a new plan. It's time to give up on that plan. It's all falling apart. The panic you were worried about, it's already happening. The secrets you're keeping, they're about to be in the open anyway. It's time. 
Okay. Honestly. Yeah, fam. Legit, the shit's already hitting the fan, baby! Shit's already on the fan! It's already there! I think it's time you get back to the Academy. I think you're right. Miss Hill? Councilman Sleet? Councilwoman Camilla? There are some things you need to know about. Let's figure out how we can help Mantle. Together. I've called a transport. What about Watts and Tyrion? You leave them to me. Right now, you're needed down below. He gonna hit them streets personally. It's time to do our jobs. All of us. What she said. Let's make it happen, Huntsman. And women. Inclusive ass. No, nah, let me stop. Oh, no. Uh-uh. We should tell Iron Wood. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I guess we're on the same page, huh? Guess so. He's finally choosing the truth over fear. We should do something. I'll tell him. I'm the one who chose to keep it from him in the first place. Ruby! Transport's leaving! I think you're needed elsewhere. You're sure? Yeah, I've got it. <sighs> this is gonna go bad. Good, Good luck, luck down there. there. <laughs> oh, kids. Yeah. I'm kind of with Mero, but hey, they they doing good goat talk, bro. All right, everyone. I don't like any of this. New huntsmen and huntresses. We are prioritizing citizen safety over killing Grim. Got it? Destroyed. Destroyed. When we asked what Oz was hiding. Why? Why would Oz keep this from us? From the people who trusted him. He was worried you would lose hope. We're sorry we kept it from you too. We didn't know who to trust. I figured you should know before you make any sacrifices. Oh! <laughs> More sacrifices, you mean? What are you going to do? I... All we can do for the moment is what we can to save Mantle. That's what's in front of us. He'd be proud of you. You're bringing the hope that Atlas was meant to inspire. A city in the sky is held to a higher standard. You say that like you were there. Our transports are here. We should move. Hmm. Oscar. No more surprises, all right. I'm not sure I could take it. You and me both. That was us, bro. Fuck alive, huh? Too long. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Hi, Elm. Um. Try to keep up, kid. <laughs> Look, we're just gonna let it crash. Fuck it. Show off. Seriously. A 
I'll be reporting disrupt treatment. Okay, so who is this still? I still don't know who this is. She's just walking off into the night. Oh my god! It's Neo! Yo, so that was volume 7, chapter 9. My god! What? <sighs> Breathe. First things first. I was thinking this is gonna be a drawn out plot to figure out how we're gonna get Jacques caught. Jacques got caught quick, boy. Weiss got the sauce, watched the video, went and snitched instantly. Nice Weiss for the win. And in the process, she saved Ironwood's ass, which we now know wasn't even necessary. Because shortly after that, we discover that Jacques gave up administrative access to Arthur. They know who Arthur is. Jacques wasn't even aware of the entire plot because he's just a fool who wanted to do too much. Now Mantle and Atlas is at risk, the heat is off, he has administrative access from the top tier level, he's locking people out and they are not able to fight the cyber attack right now. Soaring discourse and sorrow into Atlas and Mantle and now there's a massive Grim attack, which made a perfect cocktail. To my opinion, I think Ironwood did the right thing. I also think Ruby and Oscar did the right thing. Or should I say, Ospin? Whatever not gonna go too deep into that however so now ironwood knows two things he knows jen told ospin there is no destroying there is no there is no destroying salem he also knows that they use the question but now the council knows about amity tower which is fine but they know about salem and everything that's going on in the background i don't think it's a bad thing i said in the middle of the reaction i don't know if you saw you probably saw because you come for the reactions yeah at that point you got the grim coming in the tower is on hold you got enemies of salem already in your city ruining things yo you just, yo, at this point, I was like, yo, fuck the tower. Tell everybody, deal with it, and then move forward because your worst fear because of everything you're hiding came true anyways. That's what, that's what they say. The truth will set you free. No matter what, the truth always sees a light one day or another. It does. It's just objectively true. And in this case, I don't think it's such a bad thing for the situation. It's already going bad. It's already going really, really bad. I, <sighs> it's tough. This was a really tough one to deal with. Um, I'm excited for Robin to be on, to Robin to work with Ironwood and Team Ruby. I think she's a great asset, her and all her people. The people of Mantle, essentially, the, the Atlas needs them. And it's always crazy to me when we always see these dichotomies of, you know, the upper versus the lower. It's like, you realize, Atlas, you can't be up there without Mantle. Atlas doesn't exist without Mantle, and sometimes people forget that dynamic. Just because you're over somebody doesn't mean you don't still need them. 100% you still do, without a doubt. And that dynamic is what is what's causing all the division. Hopefully now, for lack of a better term, and hopefully not literally, we'll come up to some even ground. Even saying that out loud, now I'm like, sheesh, they're in trouble. Couple key things to catch. Uh, Jacques is going to jail, Whitley's hurt, but Widow can have a, a sense of freedom now. Uh, I thought it was weird that Oscar said something, and then Ironwood looked at him, and he said, huh, it's almost as if you were there, and then the phone rings, and it's like, that was Ospin, wasn't it? Uh, moving forward, yeah, there's about to be a huge fight, number one. Number two, a whole lot of sauce is about to come out. Number three, it seems like some new combatants are about to enter, aka Neo and Cinder are about to enter the fray, and it's a great time for it to happen, too. This is a really good opportunity for them to potentially get two, maybe three, things that they want. Take out Ruby, get the lantern, get the staff, maybe, drop Atlas to the ground. I don't quite know. Um, I know Neo is just looking to get revenge on Ruby. Cinder is looking for much, much more. So I'm interested to see what Cinder's plan is going to be knowing the new information. Also, her new outfit is kind of hot. 
No pun intended because she uses fire, but I like it. I like black. Black is a beautiful color. It's one of my favorites. Um, with that being said, yeah, things are things are popping off right now, and I, I'm excited. I'm excited for to see what's gonna happen and to see if we're gonna finish this volume in Atlas or if it's gonna continue into the next volume because there's there's a lot there's a lot happening. So. We're gonna know soon enough. With that being said, if you made it this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications, because we post content daily and you don't wanna miss out. If you wanna catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description for the Twitch link and of course the Patreon link where you find uncut, unreleased anime reactions. Oh, and Ruby. I'm your man behind the cam, and as always, stay nasty. You nasty.